Hi, my name is Christophe Rull. I'm an executive pastry chef and I have been working in the pastry industry since over 20 years. So today we are going to play with some sugar, one of my favorite things to do in pastry. We are going to make a sugar artistic showpiece. Inspired by the ocean, I am always in the water, surfing. The ocean is my ground and that's what we're going to play with today. I uh, cook the isomalt with 15% of water all the way to uh, 160 Celsius and then it's ready to go. So the inspiration of the structure is coming from the wave of the ocean. So I started with a uh, poor, clear sugar with a little effect in the center. And then you have all the structure, light blue, really representing the waves. So you want to fold your sugar to evenly distribute the temperature across the whole mass. And the more you pull and you fold your sugar, the shinier is going to get. Be careful, you can over pull it. So you have to find out the right timing of when to stop. If you go over, your sugar is going to stop being shiny and it's gonna start to be really dull. I had the opportunity to uh, train really hard on sugar show pieces and chocolate show pieces. While I was working in Las Vegas, you know, Vegas, you gotta go big, and I work over there for seven years, and that's when I had the opportunity to really train myself doing sugar and chocolate show pieces. During New Year events, to give you an idea, we were building 2,000 sugar show pieces, individual, for a, a plated dessert. We're talking about doing sugar for two weeks straight, 10 to 12 hours a day. Altogether, I probably made over 50 chocolate and sugar show pieces. The importance of uh, working with the temperature is to be able to have a consistency of your sugar that is completely malleable. And uh, it, that's why it's important to always work with a blowtorch, with a fan. You have to find the right medium and that's going with a lot of practice. If it's too soft, it's not going to keep its shape. If it's too hard, it's going to break. We torch the sugar because there is always some micro bubbles that are coming on the top of the uh, surface of the sugar. It's important to use a torch to remove all those bubbles and to have something really, really clear. To give you an idea, when you pour the big sphere, uh, that will take anywhere from three to five hours to cool down at room temperature. When you're working on a showpiece uh, project, uh, what's important is to start with the biggest piece first. Uh, in order to cool down those big pieces, 
uh, it might take from two to four hours. It's all depend on the thickness. Maybe sometimes more than that, depending on how wide and large your mold will be. However, for those pieces, it will take about two to three hours to pull down completely before we can assemble the structure. The most enjoyable making a sugar shoe piece is always at the end, when you did all the job and then you have all those components and now you start to put everything together. And I think, in my opinion, that's, that's the beauty of it. However, sugar is super, super fragile and like glass, if you're doing a wrong move at any time, your entire sugar shoe piece can just collapse and break in million pieces. It's really important to take the time, just follow the steps and don't, don't rush it. Then we have also a presentation of chocolate bonbon heart because who doesn't love the ocean? And I think it's very really important to uh, represent the love into the ocean theme. To enhance those beautiful macarons, I prepare a little placket so the yellow macaron really pop up on the top. So this is my sugar show piece that uh, I accomplished today. So it took about uh, six hours uh, from beginning to end. We have some poor sugar for the base, a little flower to represent the coral of the ocean. I incorporate also some, uh, some jellyfish, which is blonde sugar and uh, pool sugar on the side. There is a couple of bubbles in the show piece to represent you know, the oxygen getting out of the rocks and all this beauty coming from the ocean. I hope you enjoyed the sugar creations today and please do not forget to watch Big Squad on Netflix right now. See you later everyone.